Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Vizio TV and you have an issue with your Voodoo app. It's just like not working. Maybe it's uh, frozen or has a black screen or maybe when you click on it, it's stuck on the buffering or loading screen or it basically just won't load or um, uh, load or open. Maybe because error messages. Anyways, I'm going to get you guys up and running right now. Now I'm going to give you uh, s several uh, solutions to get you up and running. All right. So first thing is this. Have your Vizio TV on. And then go ahead and pull the power plug. Just like that, I want you to wait for one minute. After one minute is up, go ahead and plug it back in. Let's go ahead and turn your TV back on. And then go ahead and go back to your Voodoo app once your TV is on. And hopefully you guys are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step here. Okay, so for the next step, again, same thing. Have the TV on. We're going to go ahead and unplug this just like that. Now go ahead and walk over to wherever your um, wireless modem router is, okay? Now I have a um, two separate things here. I have a modem and a router, okay? If you guys have two of these, what I want you to do is go ahead and pull the power. Just pull the plug on both of them, okay? Pull the power on this one and pull the power on the other one as well. But most of you guys probably only have one unit. This is my office here at my home. I only have one unit. It's a wireless uh, modem and router. Anyways, if you only have one unit, just pull the plug just on that unit, okay? So we have the wireless uh, modem router unplugged, and we have the TV unplugged. Now wait five minutes. After five minutes is up, go ahead and put the plug back in. Then go back to your TV, and you want to also go ahead and plug that in. And then go ahead and turn your TV on. Now what you have to do is you have to wait one or two minutes, okay? Wait one or two minutes, give it a little bit of time to connect back to your home Wi-Fi network. After one or two minutes, go ahead and open up the uh, Voodoo app again, and hopefully you guys are up and running now. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. All right, so for, for the uh, next step here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if there's a, um, a software update on your Vizio TV. So go ahead and grab your remote, and then you see where the menu button is. We're gonna tap on that to go into settings here. And now from here, what you wanna do is you just wanna scroll all the way down to where you see system. Let's highlight system. Let's click on OK on the remotes. And then right away, you see on the top here, it's highlighted. It says check for updates. That's what we want. Grab the remote. Let's click on the enter button right here. And you get a little pop-up window here. And it says, do you want to check for updates? We do. So we're going to go ahead and it's highlighted on no right now. Let's move to the left one. Highlight on yes. And then go ahead and click on enter. And we'll see if there's a update for this TV. Okay, so it says this TV is up to date, okay? However, if you actually, if there actually is a uh, software update for your Vizio TV, go ahead and proceed with the download and installation. Once it's done, go ahead and open up Voodoo, and hopefully you guys are back up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. So the next step I have for you, the last step, is to do a factory reset. Don't forget, when you do a factory reset, it's basically, you're basically going to lose everything on here. It's going to be as if you just bought the TV brand new and took it out of the box. And then you got to start off with uh, your region. Um, you got to put in your country, Wi-Fi password, so on and so on. Okay. Anyways, go ahead and grab your remote again. And you want to press on menu. And we want to go to the uh, settings here. And same thing again, we want to go down to where it says system, highlight system. Click on enter. Now what we want to do this time is we want to go... All the way down to near the bottom where it says uh, reset and admin so go down 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 all the way reset and admin click on enter and then we go to the next screen here and you can see on top where it's highlighted it says reset the factory settings go ahead and click on ok on the remotes then you get another pop-up window here and it says select reset to restore all tv settings to factory defaults it's currently on cancel move over to the left one to go to reset and then click OK OK if you want to proceed. I'm not going to go ahead and factory reset this uh, TV, but what you want to do is do the factory reset. Once it's uh, com once it's complete with the uh, factory reset, then like I said, you got to go in, pick your region, your country, you have to put your Wi-Fi password in, all that good stuff. And then once every once all the setup process is done, go ahead and open up Voodoo and hopefully you guys are up and running. Now let me know which step worked for you guys. Good luck.